Hey everyone, so last week I was supposed to upload a video, but I didn't because I kind of forgot and it was also Thanksgiving so I didn't think anyone was going to watch. So here is the video now. Hey everyone, it's Sal and welcome back to My Small Kitchen. Today is finally Thanksgiving, so I thought it would be fun to make you guys some mac and cheese. So today's recipe is fairly easy. All you're going to need is a fourth of a cup of butter, four garlic cloves minced, a fourth of a cup of flour, Two cups of milk, you need some pasta, I'm using elbow pasta, or you can use any pasta, but this is kind of typical for a mac and cheese. A teaspoon each of salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, you're going to need a fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs, which I made my own um, by drying up a piece or two in the oven at the lowest setting, and then I just grind it with a sifter, or you could also just blend it. And then I mixed in a, about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. You're also gonna need 3 fourths cup of Parmesan, 4 cups of cheddar cheese, a large sauce pot, a whisk, and a large baking dish. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cook your pasta. So you're just gonna cook it according to the box direction. So after putting in your pasta in your water, you're gonna to want to melt your butter. And then you're gonna add in your garlic. I'm just gonna mix this until the butter is melted. So once your butter has melted, you're gonna to want to add in your flour. I'm just gonna whisk that in. And then once it's all combined together, you're going to add in your milk slowly, just little by little. little bit and then wait until you don't see any lumps. And you're gonna do this to the rest of your milk. Once you added all your milk, you're gonna want to add in your salt, pepper, and nutmeg in there. Just gonna whisk this again. And then you're just gonna let this sit until it starts to thicken. So once your milk has thickened, the next thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees and then you're going to want to add in both your cheeses. I'm going to add in the parmesan, get add in the cherry cheese. And I'm just going to whisk this all together until the cheeses have melted. So once your pasta is done cooking, you're going to want to drain it and then you're going to add it into your cheese sauce. It's already drained mine. I'm just going to be adding it into the cheese sauce. I'm just going to mix this all together until all the macaroni is coated with the cheese. And once it is all mixed together, you're going to add it into your baking dish. So I just added my macaroni into my baking dish. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle on the breadcrumbs right on top. And once I'm done coating it in the breadcrumbs, I'm going to put this in the oven for about, uh, about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, or until it starts to uh, bubble. And then it will be ready. So here we have our finished mac and cheese. Get a close up of it. it smells delicious. Let's taste it. Mm. I like the garlic in there. And the breadcrumbs. It's nice and cheesy. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below to if you want to see you next. And also check out my Instagram at Kitchen, where I'll be posting the mac and cheese recipes and other recipes on there. 
See you guys later. So an easier way to cool off the dough faster is putting it in a stand mixer or using a, a hand mixer also. It actually speeds up the process of gaining.